Hello YouTube, welcome to my kitchen. So today we are going to be washing eggs. Um, this time of year it's a little bit harder because of the mud and the wet and the chickens have a harder time keeping their feet clean when they're going in and out of the nesting boxes and that um, adds mud and, and stuff to the eggs themselves. So that being said, um, this is the time of year that I find that I wash my eggs the most. The rest of the year, I hardly ever have to. Sometimes I'll just take a um, paper towel, not even damp, just a dry paper towel and, and rinse them off real quick or kind of rub them off real quick if I feel like I need to. Um, when I sell them to customers, I especially wanna make sure that they're clean. And we're gonna talk a little bit about why you wash eggs, why you don't wash eggs, why some people decide not to wash them and just leave them on the counter, um, and that that is actually perfectly safe. Here's a basket full of beautiful eggs. Look at those, ooh, gorgeous. There's some gorgeous colors in here. Can't wait to show you the colors. Um, some of these that are in here have actually been in here for a little while because we're starting to get like 25 eggs a day. So we haven't been able to consume them as fast and it's just an off season. We don't have the farm store open right now. So we're not getting a ton of egg customers. Um, so I'm gonna show you how we float test them and then also how we wash them. And I just do it in my sink. I go ahead and put my stopper in, fill my sink up enough that I can get a good float to my eggs or not a float to my eggs because if the eggs float, then they are, they're bad. There's something wrong with them. Sometimes they get cracked slightly with this colder weather. Um, that can be a really big issue because the colder weather, obviously, sometimes they freeze. Um, so I'm just gonna take my eggs and immediately gently put them in the water and they should sink down to the bottom. And I will show you, as soon as I get a good amount of them in here, I will show you what the good eggs are gonna look like. And then if we have any that are not good, whether they've got a crack to them or whether they're just older, we don't really want them to soak, but we wanna give them a chance to, you know, loosen up if there's anything on them. And some of these do have some stuff on them. So we're gonna give them a chance to kind of just get nice and wet. But like I said, we don't want them to soak. Um, the shell of the egg will actually allow the water to soak in a little bit to the egg and you don't want that. So we're just gonna give these a, a nice amount of eggs in here. Almost down to the bottom of the basket here, I'm gonna show you getting down to the bottom. And this is where I had some eggs that were in there for a while because we just hadn't gone through them as fast. So this is where we could have some that would, see there's one that just floated. Did you see that? So that one just floated to the top. And I can actually see it has a little, the um, shell is really super thin. I know it's probably really hard to tell in the camera here, but this is a pullet egg. This is a young hen egg. Um, she probably just started laying and her shell is not super thick and that is probably why it started to go bad um, because there might be a little fracture in the shell there somewhere that I didn't notice. So that is a bad egg. It, it floated to the top. You can, it doesn't even go down to the bottom. You can see how it's floating. Okay, so we're going to toss that one. Here's one. That one's just not as fresh. It, it ended up going all the way down to the bottom but it's not as fresh. So that's still an edible egg. There's nothing wrong with that. If they go clear to the bottom, and that's why I actually like to make sure that there's just one layer of eggs on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these. So you can see now, I can get the camera to adjust. There we go. There's just one layer of eggs down there in the bottom of the sink. They're all some of them are on their ends, but if they're flat, if they're on their side, they are fresh, nice and nice and fresh. If they kind of pop up, see how that one does that? So watch, I'm gonna put it down, lay it down on its side, and it kind of pops up and it stands up. That is what most of your grocery store eggs are gonna do. So if you float one of your grocery store eggs, most of your grocery store eggs are gonna do this because they're not as fresh. They have been, 
traveling <laughs> from the farm to you. So if you have not as fresh grocery store eggs, that's what you're gonna see. But that's still a fresh egg. The only time you don't wanna eat it is if it floats clear to the top, okay? That means it is a bad egg. And you can even take the egg and kind of hold on to it and see how far it goes. And if it goes all the way to the bottom, it is a fresh egg and it is good to eat, okay? So now I'm gonna show you how I wash these. Really simple, I use one of these little scrubbies. And of course I dedicate this to the eggs. This is not gonna be used for us now. And I just gently do that number and then rinse them off. And then I put them on a dish towel to dry. You want them to air dry on a dish towel. Chances are, once they've been in the water for a few minutes, you don't even need to scrub them. Um, and I'm not even scrubbing them. I'm just gently, you know, some of them like, for example, that one, okay? So that one's got a little bit on it. And I'm just gently removing anything on there. Look at the colors. Look at that. With it being wet, it's a little bit harder to tell, but it has black speckles. Beautiful black speckles. Super hard to tell. There we go. A little bit better. Those are from my olive eggers. need to go into a refrigerator. If they have not been washed, then you can leave them on your counter for that room temperature egg for cooking and baking. And they actually last longer. So the bloom on the outside of the egg, it's called a bloom. And it's very hard to describe unless you, unless you can feel it and see it in person. But if you get yourself a hold of some farm fresh eggs. I, I challenge you to do this just so that you can see how it works because it's really cool how God made chickens. Um, you will take your egg and just get, just put a little bit of water on it in the sink and with your hand and go like this and you'll feel kind of a film on the egg. That's called a bloom. And that is a protective layer that keeps the egg fresh as long as possible. Once that protective layer is washed off, such as washing the eggs and like I'm doing, the egg will start to deteriorate and not be as fresh quicker. So that's of course why it needs to be refrigerated and also needs to be consumed quicker. A egg, a farm fresh egg on a counter, unrefrigerated and unwashed, can last up to two months in a controlled climate area in your house. Um, your kitchen counter is usually a good spot for that. I have had eggs on the counter in the summertime when we are just getting so many eggs, we can barely, barely keep up. Okay, so here's a really good example. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this one. You can't see it, but there's a tiny, tiny little, um, oh, there it is, now you can see it. So you can see there was a little weak spot in the shell and it, and it actually hadn't even shown me that it was floaty. So it would have looked like it was fine, which that protective layer kept it fine. Look, the egg looks fine. Egg looks totally fine. Doesn't have a smell or anything. But there was a tiny, tiny little spot in there. And that's another reason why I like to check. Because if my clients, if my, my egg customers were to get that egg, I would feel bad. Not that it would cause any harm to them, because it wouldn't. It would probably be just fine. You see eggs in the grocery store that have a little bit of a crack in them, and they're just fine. 
Um, however, I like to make sure that my, my customers are getting as high quality eggs as possible. You can see as the water's kind of moving, these eggs are, are standing up a little bit. So there's nothing wrong with them, but they're not gonna last as long and we have plenty right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually feed these back to the chickens and I'll show you what I do with those. So I'm just gonna set those in the other side of the sink here and I'm gonna show you what I do. Unfortunately, I completely forgot to film what I do with the discarded eggs, but a really good option is to scramble them up, shell and all, and then feed them back to your hens. This is a great way for your hens to not only receive the protein from the egg, but also the shell, which will help them have harder shells. So we're gonna go ahead and do another batch here. And we're getting down to the bottom of the basket, and this is where I did know that we had some older eggs. So we might see some some floating here or some not quite as um, fresh as I'd like them to be. And these are all, I mean, they're all standing. They're not, we're not having any floaters here, so that's good. The floater, see that? So that one is no good. We're gonna give that back to the hens. And then here's some little silky, yep are no good as well. Uh, this is what's called a fairy egg. This probably came from one of my mature hens because every now and then one of the mature hens will lay these teeny tiny eggs and they're usually no yolk inside. It's usually just a white. It's kind of interesting so we'll crack that open just for fun and see what it looks like. All right so we've got some that are just kind of standing up. They're not floating so they're not bad. There's nothing wrong with them. We've got some laying down. They're just standing up. This is what your this is typically what your grocery store style grocery store um, age eggs are probably going to look like. It's just a good time to be able to inspect the eggs, check everything out. But if I can do that without washing them, I will because that's even better. That is going to make them last even longer. If I have eggs that I leave on the counter and I am, you know, I know they've been there a little while because we get busy with life and maybe we're not consuming enough eggs, I'll go ahead and do a quick float test on them. You can just get a cup of water or a bowl, stick some water in it, enough that the egg could float if it needed to, check the, the status of its freshness and then you feel confident knowing that the egg is fresh and edible. That is the most interesting bloom. So watch this. If I were to scrub on this, it actually takes that colored bloom off of the egg. So that's part of that bloom that I was talking about. And a lot of times you'll see an egg that has one color and then some color over top. If you were to really scrub on that, it'll actually take that bloom color off. Isn't that interesting? quail eggs and some chicken eggs. My quail started laying again, which is so awesome. And some beautiful colors in here. These blue and light green. So we have some Easter eggers and some true blues. That blue. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Hard to see, but it's a light brown egg with dark brown speckles. package the eggs and put them in the refrigerator. So what I like to use, I use this old scale. It's 
kind of fun. And it shows the weight of the egg. So this is obviously an extra large. So we're gonna package these accordingly. So extra large, extra large. This is a large. I'm just drying them off. Some of them still a little bit wet, a little bit damp. That's an extra large. So just like in the grocery store, when you have small, medium, large, extra large eggs for sale, I like to have the different sizes. So that's a medium. Extra large. Here's a beautiful. Large. 